Well, most of us are aware that we need to replace those home air conditioning filters to keep the system running properly. But there are a lot of choices out there. In this week's Fox 10 News Modern Living, meteorologist Matt Barentine is right over there, helps you pick the right one. When you go to replace your AC filter, you have options from a cheap disposable like this one to an expensive pleated filter like this one. You can even now find washable filters. But which one is the best for your air conditioner? I went to an expert to find out. Technician Jake Dehart with Hanson Heating and Air showed us a pleated filter, one of the most expensive in the hardware store. Um, they advertise that it can control allergies, dust, dirt, things like that. Pretty much all filters do that. Um, the one thing you want to watch with these filters is they are extremely thick. Um, you really can't see through them right there. These get dirtier a lot quicker. You can also get a washable filter. Expensive, but they can be cleaned and reused. But Dehart says the problem with these is that they often aren't washed properly. When they get dirty right here and you go outside and you hose them off, you want to be very thorough about it because when you wash them off, you're just putting that dirt more inside. We do not suggest or recommend washable filters. And then the least expensive choice. Just a cheap throwaway filter. You can see, you can really see through that. It has multiple layers of fiber here. It will catch dirt. Um, it's, you're not gonna get aller allergic reactions from using these filters in your home. Um, they work great, they're cheap. Change them every 30 days. It's the cheap filters that allow your home's AC to breathe best, lowering strain and prolonging its life. They're also what Dehart uses in his own home. We're not trying to control allergies in a home with filters. We're trying to prevent that coal from getting dirty, and this filter right here will do its job. DR says if you need to control allergies, do it with separate machines, not your AC. A few dollars on a proper filter can literally save you thousands. For Fox 10 Meyer Living, I'm Matt Barentine.